Thank you, Lord. Yeah, no, grabe. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, I want you to meet my baby. Baby, show me. Welcome to another vlog. So this vlog will be a special vlog. Why, show me? So sama ulit kami sa feeding outreach. Yay! And I'm just preparing to leave because I'm planning to go to Ayala the Turkey at first so I can finish editing another episode of Let's Share with Jam and Paolo. As you can see, I am preparing my bag and I hope I can bring this cutie. I wanna buy a neck pillow because sabi nila baka daw 7 to 9 hours of travel daw kami later. Last time na nagbagyo ko super tagal kahit na natulog lang ako the whole time. But first, kailangan ko pigilan to dahil kinakain niya yung toothpaste ko. Don't eat my toothpaste! You talaga! Say bye bye Xiaomi! Bye Xiaomi! I wish I can bring you. I'm currently preparing to pack for my trip to Baguio tonight uh, for a feeding outreach. And to be honest, I don't know why I'm filming this, but uh, this is really an attempt for me to show how organized I am as an individual. And in my mind, this is as organized as I can get. But just in case you're interested on what I'm gonna bring, which I'm pretty sure you're not, this is my towel, which has my nickname on it, Bao Bao. Chinese is pronounced Pao Pao. Uh, this is my yellow shirt which says Strength in Jesus, um, one of the best shirts I bought uh, last month. This is the official shirt we're gonna wear for our feeding mission and what's written here is Joseph feeding mission. Uh, this is the shirt that all of us have to wear uh, when we show up in those communities and I love the color, I love the design. This is my old backpack I used in college. This this thing I use to clean my teeth. Uh, this is something that sprays water so that it removes the food particles that stay between uh, between the teeth into your gums. And this right here, uh, it's a pillow that you can use so that you can sleep anywhere, especially in the car. Of course, definitely can't forget my mouthwash. And this is my extra battery. This is really cool. I bought it from Taiwan. You can attach this to the back of your iPhone. This is my GoPro. Of course, I bring this wherever I go. For my speakers, can I just say that this is one of the best speakers I ever bought. I can't wait to bring these speakers so that we have some beats on the way to Baguio. And finally, this is the jacket that I'll be wearing. There you go, nothing really interesting. I'm, I'm pretty sure you skipped this part, but that's okay with me. I'm here. Let's do this, get the bug. Technique ni ate sa parking para do malaman mo na pasok ka na. Dapat pantay yung side mirror ng katabi mo sa yun. Max! It's 6.45 and I'm just about ready to go. Definitely can't forget my food. I'll be wearing my Adidas slip-ons for the rest of the trip. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna wear that. I'm gonna go to the mall to meet with the Jam, so let's head out. before we leave for Baguio. We're here in Yabu, about to eat dinner. Jam's favorite. Can't wait for a really long road trip. Can't wait to sleep in the car. We were planning to buy a neck pillow in the mall, but we were so hungry, we didn't realize that it was already almost closing time. So by the time we finished, almost every single light in the mall was off already and stores were closing. This store sold neck pillows and we planned on buying it, but they were already closed. But what we did was we begged one of the bosses to open the door for us so they could sell us. And they said yes. It's really embarrassing to beg, beg yeah, the boss, please just let us buy one neck pillow for the car. But we said we needed it tonight. Please, so, we need it tonight. Please, we need it tonight. Thankfully, the boss opened the door despite the closed sign. Yeah. Let us go inside, find a neck pillow, and we bought a neck pillow. And when we walked out, we said, thank you so much. 
for saving our lives because it's gonna be a long road trip yeah. and we need that pillow. Yes. Ay, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We already feel God's favor. We already Amen. feel God's favor. We haven't even started the feeding outreach, but we feel God's favor. Yes. You know what I hate about Philippine malls? If the closing time is 10, they already close at 9. If the opening time is 7, they open at 8. Oh my gosh, na huli kami. Lesson for tonight. Pag meron kang violation, tapos sabi sa'yo may violation ka, pero tapos sasabihin niya pa sa'yo na, ano yung sabi niya kanina pa? Kayo po ma'am, kaya nga kayo po yung tinatanong ko. May violation na kami, pero tinatanong niya kami. Ano ba tinatanong niya sa amin? Eh kung fix na nga yung violation namin na 2-5 kasi hindi namin nabuksan yung ilaw. Hindi, willing na nga tayo magbayad. Willing na nga tayo magbayad eh. Willing na tikitan. Lesson sa amin ni Pao, pag sinasabi na ng mga traffic enforcers na kayo ma, pag tinatakot kayo, 2-5 yan. O ano? Magsiseminar pa kayo. Magsiseminar pa kayo. Ganyan. Sa city hall mo kukunin. Make sure sabihin mo rin na hindi po kami maglalagay. Stay magalang naman. Yeah, just make sure na magalang kayo. We have to check. Traffic enforcer sila ng Pasig, pero... Allowed ba sila? Allowed ba sila to get the license? Confiscate. Eventually, sabi niya, sige, wag na, wag na. Tapos ayaw niya kunin yung, yung trucks na binibigay namin. Tapos sabi niya, eventually, sabi niya, baka masunog ako dyan. Sabi. <laughs> Kasi gusto niya nang lagay. <laughs> anyway, bye, ate. Thank you. Bye. Ingat ka na, okay? Yes. Let's go, pa. We're here in church, waiting for our ride. Uh, everyone's preparing the packages and stuff they're gonna bring. In a few minutes, we're gonna leave for Baguio for a nine-hour trip. We already need to sleep in the car. We got so impatient that we got out one of the snacks so we can start eating. This is mochi from Japan. Food vlog. We're still waiting for the ride. I'm already sleepy. But it's already 11.25. We're about to leave soon. Sabi naman daw, 11 to 12. It's almost 12. We're still waiting. We're still waiting for a ride. <laughs> we ordered choking halo halo. Halo halo. Halo halo. Ordered choking. Choking? 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 a.m. and we're finally here. Guess what the first thing we did? We bought strawberry taho. We're here. We're here in Baguio. Strawberry taho. In McDonald's, doesn't she look nice? Her hairstyle, look left. Look left. Her hairstyle. Her hairstyle is so nice. She's so pretty. I'm waiting for the bake shop. It's around 6.55 a.m. right now. They open at 7 a.m. Changing to our Joseph Feeding Mission shirt. And we're gonna have a feeding in a while. that over there mm -hmm. that's the exact area affected by typhoon Hong Kong mm -hmm. and uh, there were a lot of cars on the way here uh, CNN ABS CBN they're all on I think they're all on their way to check out the affected area there it really hurts the heart please pray for those people and please pray for their fast recovery
Sabihin nga ninyo sa sarili nyo, love ako ni Jesus. Love ako ni Jesus. Are you overcoming your fear? Not even afraid of heights. But I'm scared to go down. Papa, 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 so brown steep. Sa video hindi masyadong halata pero my god. Oh my gosh, mo baba sila. Paul, ikaw na lang. <laughs> Careful, Paul. Paniin sabay-sabay na. Ano? Oh, mga kaya natatakot na kami dito. Hindi naman sa baba ang ano. Taas. Mamaya, ito mas pinaka taas sa taas. Kasi may mga minahan ni eh, no? down. Here in one of the affected sites by the typhoon. Every time there's a typhoon, everyone who lives here and lives on the other side, they get very nervous because there's always a risk of a landslide. A while ago, on our first uh, on our first evacuation center, mm -hmm. uh, I was almost teary because mm -hmm. as our pastors were sharing with them, you know, that God never forgets them, that God's there to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And while we were distributing the goods, I just felt how much God loved those people. Especially those people. I can't imagine what it's like living here, especially when there's huge tropical storms, you know, hitting these areas. Yeah, because there's always the risk. Yeah, we barely feel it. And we just enjoy the weather, the cold. Weather. We enjoy the fact that yeah. we have suspended work, suspended classes. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, I have I know some people na sana umulan ngayon. Sana umulan ngayon kasi masarap matulog sa bahay pag umulan. Ito sa bahay, every time it rains, there's a risk of a landslide. We need to do as much as we can to help out these people. Tinanong namin kung sino sa kanila yung mga namatayan dun sa ano. Tapos may mga nagtaas na kamay. And other people said pa nga na merong ilan sa kanila na yung mga relatives nila hanggang ngayon hindi pa nila nakikita. Hindi nila alam kung nasaan. And I can just imagine pa. So, Sobrang goosebumps. Can you so. imagine? Almost everyone there either has a lost family member or a missing family member. And yet they still, you know, they still manage to show a smile on their face every time we help them and thank us and tell us that God blesses us. Really what makes it worse is you hear that sound right now, the thumping sound over there in the, you know, east corner. Those are miners, you know, mining companies trying to find new resources. And every time they do that, they put more lives at risk, especially people who live here. Because mm. there's, ano, the, the mountain suddenly becomes susceptible to landslides. Yeah, yeah. Because they mine too much. <laughs> what can we take away from this? Every single time that you have an opportunity or you have the time to help out, yes. you help out. That's what creating a culture of purposeful sharing is all about. You don't Whatever hesitate. Whatever it is. Yes, don't do. hesitate. No matter how small your contributions are, 
they do make a difference. Yeah. Every time you can help, go help out. So okay, kayong papayag na wala kayong ginagawa kahit na gano'ng kaliit. Huwag nyo lang hayaan na parang papanoodin nyo lang, ah, yung pala yung nangyari sa kanila, yung kawawa naman sila. Yeah, and, you know, don't you know? just watch the news and say, ah, we have it better, thankfully we're yeah. blessed and they're not. You know, just, that's not the way we're supposed to do it, you know, di ba? Kaya ano eh, create a culture of purposeful sharing. The point, Kailangan talaga uh, meron tayong gawin. The point of us visiting these sites is not to remind ourselves that we're more blessed, yeah. they're not, you know, just a lot of people always say na, ah, I'm blessed pala because other people have it worse. Mm. But that's not the mindset that you should have. Mm. The simple mindset that you should have is help out whatever way you can, no mm. matter how small it is. Maybe a lot of you are thinking, I don't want to help out because it won't make a big difference. Yeah, it's not gonna change the world. Diba gonna yeah, right now? that's not gonna change the world if you but then, if you feel like you, you only want to help if it's gonna make a huge difference that's gonna make the television. It doesn't matter even if it's one life. Yeah. It's a difference that's worth making. It's gonna change a part of the world. You know, it's gonna change a part of the world. Diba? You don't have to change the world. All you have to do is change a part of it. Yeah. Tsaka mas better na meron tayong ginagawa kesa wala tayong ginagawa. Kasi I used to think that way na parang ang late lang naman nung kaya kong gawin, late lang naman nung kaya kong ibigay. Eh. So, I'd rather not give, I'd rather not share anything kasi it won't change mm. the world nga. Mm. But then, parang nireview ako ni God na mas maganda di ba may ginagawa ka kaysa wala kang ginagawa. And same with all of you guys who are watching us right now. I had the same mindset before. Every time I thought that the change I was going to make wasn't big enough, I thought it wasn't worth making. But that's not how the way things work. And that's what we hope you guys learn from this. That's what we learned from this. That's what we learned from this experience. Anyway, off to another feeding site. This is the third feeding site. I'm not afraid of the rain. I just want to emphasize that the point of this exercise for me and Jam is not to remind yourself how blessed you are and you know go back to the city mm -hmm. and lie down in your bed satisfied with the life you have and say I'm blessed because other people have it worse. But that's not the point. Must not appreciate of... my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not the point of why we do this. It's not to remind yourself how blessed you are just because other people have it worse. The point of this exercise is to realize that because you are blessed, we're supposed to spread that blessing to others. Blessed as blessed as we were. So again, if you have the chance and opportunity to help out, don't hesitate to help out, no matter how small it is. That's what Joseph Feeding Mission is all about. We go to affected areas after calamities. We daily do, feeding. Yeah, we do. We have daily feeding programs, mm -hmm. have feeding outreaches, and also relief operations for these affected communities. And we do it because we know that that's what our great God wants us to do. God wants His love to be felt, especially in these affected communities. And it's our duty. It's actually our duty and obligation to make these people feel God's love for them. And it's not just a one-time thing. We're not just gonna go here and you know forget, forget everything that we did here and feel satisfied about ourselves. No, that's not how, that's not the way it works. And don't just give them something you know something temporary. We give them something eternal. That's the word of God. That's the opportunity for you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's our mission, to bring the you know to bring the message of Jesus wherever He is, and that's way more valuable than any food that we can give, clothes, supplies. You know, the message of Jesus is way more valuable than all of that. Every time we get to impart an eternal message like that, we already know that we planted the seed. And the Lord na yung bahala na maggrow ng tree na yun. Yeah. Lord na yung bahala. Hello, kids. Hi. <laughs> Mula na sa Baguio, so ito turn over na lang namin yung other supplies. We were planning to go up somewhere. Mula na daw. And maputik na, so medyo delikado na daw. So, to turn over na lang natin yung supplies. 
It's raining in Baguio, tell them. It's raining in Baguio. It's raining in Baguio. It's in Baguio. Making the sprinkle sprinkle. And <laughs> making the tulo. Rain, rain. So we just finished our, I don't even know if this is lunch or dinner because it's already 4, 5 o'clock. It's 5.50. We had a very eventful day, mm -hmm. finished our mission trip, went to three different evacuation sites, felt God's love everywhere, went back here, eat some dinners, and we're just gonna rest the night away before heading back to the city. We miss the city. We miss, we're urban <laughs> kids. We miss yeah. the city. Sadly. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> but we're hoping to go to SM Kubao. Ano Kubao? SM Baguio. SM Baguio. So we're hoping to you know, pass by some gift shops tonight to buy some possible for our friends and family back in the city. Here ends our mission trip, our very eventful mission trip. We had a lot of fun. And we felt really blessed. We felt God's love very good. So thank you, Lord. And thank you for watching. Again, guys, that's the creative culture of purposeful sharing. Bye. In SM Baguio parking lot. SM Baguio parking lot. Woo! <laughs> Bye. Oh, sige, ano, bye. 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 Day two, we're gonna go to some gift shops and buy some pasalubong and then head out to La Union.